Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here's the difference between duplicating a smart object and creating a new smart object via copy. I'll start by converting this layer group to a smart object by right clicking and choosing Convert to Smart Object. Then, if we duplicate the smart object using any of the following methods, Photoshop will create another instance of the smart object where all of the instances point back to the same embedded smart object. I could choose Layer, New, and then layer via copy, or I could choose layer and then duplicate layer. In the layers panel, I could hold down the option of the Alt key and drag in order to create a duplicate, or in the image area, I can hold down the option of the Alt key and drag another copy. I can make changes to the duplicates, such as transforming them or rotating them, scaling them up and warping them, I could also change opacity and blend modes. I can add filters or layer masks, styles, and more. The point is, when I choose Layer and then Smart Objects and edit the contents, and I make a change, for example, filling the spots with white using Command Delete on Mac or Control Delete on Windows, and then choosing to save those changes and closing the contents we can see that all three of the duplicates of the smart object were updated. If, on the other hand, I select a smart object in the Layers panel and then choose Layer, Smart Objects, and New Smart Object via Copy, Photoshop will create a new copy of the embedded smart object. So now this document has two separate embedded smart objects. And when I choose to edit the contents, this time, I'll just double click on the thumbnail in the Layers panel, hide the spots, save those changes, and then choose File Close. We can see that only that smart object was modified.